you. Dana, over to your left over here. Yeah. What is your reticence or has been your reticence about Alex at heavyweight? Because you've never seemed to be into it, right? And even the way you describe the story with Rogan, you don't seem to be into it. Why not? It's not that I'm not into it. You know, the guy was a, uh, a middleweight, then moves up to light heavyweight. Um, you know, he's had a couple fights there, defended his title. But it's not like this guy's been in the division for two years and, you know, he ran through everybody that's in the division. It's like, come on, what's next? At least let him move to heavyweight. I think that when you look at, think about this, like when those two squared off, not just him, Yuri too, when you see me standing in the middle of this guy, these guys are monsters, man. They're big guys. Imagine that they were both middleweights at one time. It's insane. Um, but they look good at light heavyweight. It's a whole nother level going up to heavyweight. I mean, even as big as John Jones is, as good as John Jones is, you know, when John Jones was moving up to heavyweight, we were like, this is going to be interesting. Um, it wasn't. But don't you think, like, when you look at it, you go, Alex was 230 today. I saw his thing on the scale. He was 230. If he puts on 15 pounds, he's the same weight as John. And you're talking about perhaps the greatest single accomplishment in combat sports history, right? You know, doing what Alex would do if he does that. And, you, you know, you, you normally embrace those kind of big historic things. And, and that, this one you don't seem to have that same fervor for. Not, not true. If he, if he cleaned out a division and we were like, there's literally nobody left for this guy to fight. And, if, and, and he's 37. If he wants to move up to heavyweight, that's, but that's, that, that's not the case. And when you think about, you said he was 230 today, right? Yeah. Chuck and Forrest Griffin used to walk around at 230, and they would cut down to 205. Th that, that's not big. Some of these heavyweights are, you know, 265. They're cutting to 265. It's just a whole nother level. I mean, that's why I think this is the problem with the conversation that we're having here and why people aren't giving John Jones the respect for pound for pound. This f guy destroyed the best heavyweight in the division. Easily made it look like nothing. John Jones is the pound for pound best fighter in the world and the greatest fighter ever, period. End of story. Well, I don't disagree with that, but he, you know, um, he hasn't fought in a long time, but you know, in Stipe, or in a longer time. He got hurt. No, I, I get it, I'm not criticizing him. He was him. trying to fight. I'm just saying, yeah. No, yeah, well, it's not like he's just sitting around and doesn't want to fight. The no, guy came I, to I'm fight. It's that. the first injury he's ever had. But I, and listen to me. I'm not defending John Jones. You know what I mean? John Jones has been one of my biggest fucking headaches in, 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 in the entire time that I've been in this company. Right? And, you know, the, the guy hasn't been the model, uh, you know, fighter in the company. No matter what you think of John Jones, he's the fucking best ever, and he's I the pound-for-pound best, pound best fighter in the world. I and he's the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world. Yeah. Well, except that he hasn't fought in the last year, so he's not. Because he got hurt. He right, got but, injured. But if, if you don't... If you, if you were coming into a fight and you f***ing got hurt, that means you're not the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the world anymore? How does that even make sense? When it doesn't fights, make he, sense. When he fights, right? If he was sitting out and f***ing getting arrested and running around or whatever, and you're like, you know, uh, well, John Jones is inactive. I'd say, eh, may, maybe you're right, but... As an educated adult who knows the fight business, you cannot deny that while John Jones is active, he is the greatest fighter in the world. Did I not say that? Yes. I don't know what you're arguing about here. I don't even know how we're in this conversation. Where are the helicopters when you need them? Because you're, <laughs> you're screaming and hollering. Well, let, let's change to a better topic then. I